Hey, Siri here, and today we got three blaster boxes, 21, 22, Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. But before we get on to the blasters, I went to a card show, I don't go that often, and I'm not sure what I got here, mainly because these three blasters I got from there, and I brought $250, which is pretty much all I have right now, because I'm a reckless spender when it comes to this stuff, but I picked up a handful of cards for the collection. First up, for the Platinum Collection, I just bought four red prisms, all four of these were 10 bucks. So we got Shea Weber there, so just some red prisms for the collection there, then we got Keandre Miller. So we got two rookies, which is nice there. Keandre Miller, Red Prism. The new Lightning there, Brandon Hagel, Red Prism. So we just pick up some Red Prisms for the collection there. That's the one thing I really like about Platinum. I just like adding some smaller cheap stuff because SBA stuff is really expensive. Also, this ties in with Series 1. The case has been awful. I still have three boxes left, but I was like, screw it. Even though we're not done opening the Series 1 case, I'm still just going to buy the card I want. I saw it. Got the Quentin Byfield, Hamas Young Gun. Paid $50 for this. This is the main one I want. Byfield, he was the second overall pick in 2020. I mean, if you look at his numbers right there, nothing to write home about there. He's playing third line center behind Kopitar and Deneau. Those are pretty good mentors. He's probably going to develop into a complete player. He's learning from those guys, but Byfield has the upside to be the best player from this crop. He dominated the OHL. That's why he was second overall. Almost went first overall there, so. He had a lengthy injury earlier this year. But yeah, Quentin Byfield, I believe in him. Size, speed, skill. So I'm happy to add this one to the collection. And yes, I have said I don't collect young guns, but specific players, I do. And Byfield will be one of the guys I'll be hunting for the 21-22 crop. Also, I picked this up. Alex Nedeljkovic is one I've been looking for for quite a while. Exclusive Young Guns. 100 there. Paid $60 for this. I'm not showing values of what they go for because they're going to my collection. It don't matter. So, But we got Nadelkovich. We got his exclusives. Don't have this one. I have his clear cut and like 20 of his regular Young Guns. But finally pick up the exclusives. Very happy with that one right there. So that's pretty much all I picked up. <laughs> kind of a broke frick head right now. It's been like that for several weeks now. But it is what it is. But yeah, let's get on to these blasters. Eight cards a pack. Six packs per box. Last year, Series 1, Series 2, and Extended. All eight cards a pack. Seven packs per box. So we're getting one fewer pack again. Year after year, we're getting less and less from these. Eventually, is this going to be an empty box with a big middle finger from Upper Deck? Like, I've been pulling back punches from Upper Deck for the longest time, but they don't give a frick, right? They actually don't care. There's no excuse to have even less packs in here, even less value in the blasters. Still charge just as much, right? So that right there is just awful. Now, for what you can get in here, young guns are one in four, so we're going to get one and a half young guns. Considering the quality control of Upper Deck, I wouldn't be surprised if we literally got one and a half young guns, and we shall observe how the quality control actually is in retail but hobby's actually a joke like the worst I've ever seen. Look at his face there. So yeah, Upper Deck's a joke but they have the monopoly. What else am I supposed to open? Am I supposed to open like 10 year old product for the rest of the time? Am I supposed to open unlicensed stuff like Leaf? That doesn't really interest me I'm not gonna lie. So we're just stuck with fecal matter manure here so right off the bat I would not recommend these. Oh and I should say you can get hobby filler inserts in here which is thrilling. Yeah that really adds to it. You can get your electromagnetic and hundo P in here in rookie retrospective yay we yeah, have these cost 29 dollars canadian let's get right into it let's see if we can actually get anything redeeming in here all right first blaster here's a six packs here yes yeah, six packs also i went to your best pals at walmart and well the cards were behind glass i guess things were getting too hostile at your best pals so it's behind glass now end of an era there so i know it's been like that for quite a while now in the u.s i'm assuming but in canada that's now a thing in some walmarts at least i've been to so what do we got here? We got, oh, Daz is green. I guess that's one good thing you can get from retail here. Where are the odds here? Oh, they're one in six. So you get one per blaster. So this is the best thing about retail here. Joe Pavelski, Daz is green. Nice color match there. So, and more base. But yeah, watch next year. There'll be even less packs to get even less quality. It's just absolute joke. They're just mailing it in at this point. But if we have anything in here, I'm pretty sure you can't get French. Obviously, in retail, stuff like clear cuts and exclusives you can't get in here. So, not like you can get them in hobby, anyways. They produce way too much of that stuff. You even get like exclusives exclusives anymore so that's great but let's get a hundo p duncan keith uh quality control it seems about the same as hobby there like yeah it's not great so. <laughs> is that a base pack yes yeah, a base pack they feel different. I don't know what it is. It feels like cheaper. Maybe not. What the? It feels different. I don't know. The picture quality looks crappier. Am I like losing it or something? I swear the quality of cards don't feel as good in retail. Maybe I'm wrong there. Oh, there's our only young guns in the blaster for the first blaster. Lane Peterson young guns. So in 21-22, this is what you get for a blaster. Just a few years ago, you get 12 packs of a blaster, but I guess those days are long over. Let's open up the second blaster here. You know, I've been considering boycotting this company, but what else am I supposed to open, right? Like I just have to quit making content, right? Quit paying Upper Deck to promote their stuff. That's what's happening right now. They won't acknowledge my existence ever. Why should I be nice to them anymore, right? Like... <sighs> 
Next pack up here. Uh, rookie retrospective. VTEC Vanna check there. Okay. Next pack up here. Maybe we can get half a young guns in this pack here. That'd be cool. Oh, we got a young guns. Okay. Spencer Knight. So that pays for one of the blasters, young guns. I think it's like my third one of him, but that looks all right there in terms of condition there. So hey, Spencer Knight, young guns. I'm pretty sure French isn't in here. Not sure why it's in hobby. Other than series one lacking any sort of innovation that has carried over a bunch of crap from years prior. So they didn't put a lot of effort into series one this year so oh dazzler's green tomas hurdle there you go dazzler's green next up here oh superstar hey superstar honor roll quentin byfield nice so there you go quentin byfield superstar honor roll don't have that one yet okay and i guarantee people say quit your whining but this is awful and it seems like a lot of people in the comments agree with me that this is just absolute fecal matter i'm also doing this so this can help people decide whether or not they buy these cards so the people that are telling me not to buy it that's kind of the reason why i'm opening this is just to show what retail's all about, right? So, next pack up here. Another base pack. Yeah, another base pack. All right, third blaster. That second blaster is actually not bad, but still unacceptable. Jeez. Uh, is there a beeping thing in here? Come on, where is the beeping thing? Oh, no beeping thing. Wait, no? Aw. People gotta get more creative at your best pals if it's behind glass. I don't know if they have to escort you to the checkout or something, but we got... Oh, Jackson Kate's Young Guns are off the bat. Maybe we'll get two in this blaster. Oh my gosh. But there's Jackson Kate's Young Guns. And also, just having 150 young guns series one could have been excellent this year but just watering down the crop to the point where there's just so many awful young guns in here it's just <sighs> i don't have any hope for any of their future products they're pushing all the products way back like i've been waiting on sba i don't even know if i want to get too many boxes of that because this is going to be bad and it's sad it's really sad but more base okay next up here we got rookie retrospective keandre miller two more packs of retail do not recommend this there's obviously other retail options i'll probably check out regardless just to see how they are but i haven't seen tins yet but we'll see in this final pack here maybe we'll get a fourth young guns from 90 dollars with the blaster no we got dazzler cam atkinson dazzler's green so yeah, guys there's three blasters series one we got three total young guns three total dazzler and four filler inserts don't buy this.